is June 1st. And the struggle continues, y'all. I can't even find the words to speak right now. But my parents just got on a plane, so the bulk of my support system is gone until next week. My baby is five days old. No, my baby's a week old today, actually. Today's Wednesday. He was born last week Wednesday. I'm holding my head because I have such a bad migraine. I've had a migraine for two days now. And I know it's from stress. Which I should not be stressing right now. But given this situation, it's kind of hard not to stress. Where do I even start? I don't know where to start. But, um, just relanding my rosemary smudge. But, um, so as y'all know, I gave birth May 26th. That was last week, Wednesday. So, the Wednesday night... Wednesday night. Oh, why am I sitting like this? Wednesday night. My brain is processing so slow right now. Wednesday night, Thursday night. And Friday. I think it was Friday. I don't know. But four days, those four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those four days after I gave birth, my sisters helped me with the boys. So I have four sisters in all, all over the age of 20. The oldest one don't count because we don't really have a relationship for me to expect anything from her so put that aside but um and the youngest one it was a rough patch with the whole her being able to help me thing so i kind of stopped asking her for help for a while i just let her help when she feels like it or whenever she comes around that's what i did so the two the other two sisters, they live together, and one of them have a two-year-old son. Anyways, long story short, those four days after I gave birth, they helped me with the boys. By, by Sunday, they came here after taking them to the fair, just pretty much complaining about how burnt out they are, how exhausted they are, how... They need a break. Just just going on and on about how much of a handful having two of my boys plus her son is. Now, I know they are a handful when they get together. They are definitely a handful when they get together. That is no lie. But the level at what they were complaining I feel like it's only four days and y'all already tapping out on helping me like this is already too much for y'all after four days so it's crazy because it's like I just gave birth it's only so much I can do in terms of moving around or it's only so much I'm supposed to be doing in terms of moving around like, I can't even get a good two weeks of just letting my womb heal a little bit. Not even two weeks. You know, I should be able to get a good 30 days, but okay, that's pushing it. Fine. 
is just hard asking for help and then when people agree to help you it becomes a burden for them and bear in mind the old me never used to ask for help like i had a like it was hard for me to ever say that i need help when it came to family with my then partner like i barely asked for help and i used to actually get pretty much cussed out because of that like oh if you need help you need to ask people can't read your mind blah 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 and now i finally verbalize when i need help and be sick and be very specific in terms of how i need help and now i'm a burden my life is a burden to you all because you need a break you need a break to relax and have fun and typically when i ask for a break it's actually to do work i don't even know how to verbalize how frustrated i am with my sisters right now but i'm extremely frustrated like yes the blessings has been rolling in given my situation but if you all know how much disappointment i've had just in the past month alone in terms of things just not going as planned things that i'm working on not not falling through or actually falling through in a bad way or whatever the whole missing the act fair thing was huge because i did all this damn work for the act fair and then i couldn't even participate in the act fair which was a income that i was relying on because i'm not working it's so much it's like so much things that just i have to just push through and be like you know what it's okay you know what it's okay but me asking you for a little support during my postpartum healing is a burden because this week is your only week off from work until December mind you when my sister had her son I was living in Florida at the time and I my first child was only one I flew down from Florida to St. Croix on my own dime and stayed with her in her house for a month with my one year old while I'm working from home and helped her in exactly the way I told her I would help her. He wasn't hard, yes, but I did it because I knew she needed the help, I knew she needed the support and I wanted to be that for her. So I stuck to my word and helped her how I said I would help her. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow through. And I made sure she always had breakfast. She always had dinner. I helped her with the baby. Plus dealing with my one-year-old. And because I had a flexible work-from-home job, instead of trying to juggle that during the day while working, I didn't work during the day. I helped her during the day. And at night is when I stayed up and do my work for my income. But now the tables has turned and I can't get that back in return. After four days, you just want to give up on me? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm venting right now. Like, seriously, I'm venting. I I don't have anyone else. Like, I talk to my, my mother, of course. She knows what's going on. But there's only so much my mother could do. Her children are grown-ass children. She can't make them do anything any more than I can make them do anything. And I'm at the point where they're just helping me because they have to, quote-unquote, and not because they want to or not because they actually see that I need the help. Like, all of this is the whole reason why I even went into labor early. I was doing so much in such a short period of time because I can't... I constantly delayed the things I needed to get done just to accommodate everybody else's schedule until I couldn't delay it anymore. So I had to crush, I had to cram making all these products in a span of two weeks just because from the time in March I just kept delaying everything I had to get done for myself. And I, I stuck around, I helped everybody else, I accommodated everybody else, but when it was time to accommodate me, 
all I get is complaining and complaining and complaining. Like, I am so tired of hearing people complain about having to help me that I am pretty much done asking for help. My parents left today and they're going to be back next week. This week is the last week I'm asking any of them for anything. Like, I'm just going to have to figure it out on my own. And as crazy as I may be sounding right now, like, I don't think you really understand how hard it is to constantly hear somebody complain about having to help you. Especially when you know that you was there for them. Especially when you know that you literally not asking for anything that you wouldn't reciprocate in return like I had pretty much three breaks three breakdown this week and a headache for two days I still have a migraine and I don't even know how to get rid of it at this point I went to bed with a migraine and woke up with one And it's like every angle I turn in to try and get some support, it's like a dead end. It's a dead end. And don't get me wrong, I get help from my parents. Like, they help me so much. They help me so much regardless of all the shit they have going on. They're busy, they're working, they're hustling, they have bills to pay, they have their lives. So they, but they, but I live with them, so they do help me the most out of all. But it's literally only so much my mother as one person could do. My father as one person could do. You know? So, asking my sisters to help me until I get certain obligations I have on my plate done is too much to ask. They're acting like if I'm just asking them to take care of me for the rest of my life while I lay in bed. And that's not even the case. I'm asking them to help me so that I can get work done. <sighs> yeah. If y'all see the tears, y'all know that is it. It goes a bit deeper than my words can say. But I am tired. Like this cold is taking its time and going because one, I'm not getting a rest. There's so much going on in my mind. I can't even get my mind to stop long enough so I can take a nap. The baby is sleeping right now. This is like the perfect time for me to take a nap, and I can't even sleep because there's so much going on in my head so much going on in my head <sighs> so anyways I don't know how this week is going to turn out with my parents being gone and I have to get this baby's birth certificate application in by Friday. I haven't gotten a name for him yet. I have to go to Human Services Friday. I have a his newborn checkup tomorrow morning because I need to do that in order to submit the documents with his birth paper application. Like, and then I have to give. Um, this lady her wholesale order she actually texted me a little while ago asking what's the update on the order because she's trying to have it in time to ship <coughs> ship the items to her st thomas store and i saw her message and i just had to just ignore it for a minute because my brain couldn't even process the fact that i have to tell her i'm not gonna have her stuff ready until at least by friday i need at least until friday And that's even pushing it because technically I don't I don't even know if I can finish all this by Friday. I have so much labels to put on and then I still have to bottle out my oils, label those, and then price them. I have to finish my pricing. First thing first I have to get rid of this migraine. And then figure out the rest. I was burning this rosemary because I'm trying to clear my mind a little bit. It out, it's out now, but I'm gonna light it again. Try to take some deep breaths and lay down to see if I could just rest my mind for a bit. 
and then later wake up and try and get some work done. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I'm literally just renting at this point because I don't. My my mom, my mother is gone. I didn't get to go to my therapy session yesterday. And I just have so much on my mind. I need somebody to talk to. It shouldn't be this hard when you have so much family. You know? I have such selfish siblings. Like, I don't know how we come from the same parents. Because they are so selfish. I had I cannot... I cannot wrap my head around how selfish my siblings are. They're just good time people. Like they want to be around, have a good time with you, talk, laugh, have fun. But as soon as things get hard, as soon as things get a little hard, they want to tap out. It's too much for them. Because now your life is being an inconvenience for my life and I need a break. I don't even think my, my siblings don't care what I went through. They don't care what I'm going through. They don't care about me not working, not having an income, having three boys to take care of. They don't care about any of that. All they care is that this is not their responsibility. They want to be able to live their life how they want, when they want. And even though it's just for a week, I am asking them too much. Just a week. My mother them ask them from long. For this week that they're gone, can you come here and help? And that's too much for them. It's too much. It's like it's like literally begging at this point. And I'm not a beggar. I gotta find another solution. Anyways, that is all for my June 1st rant. Um, if I do post this video anywhere, it definitely will be on my Patreon because I'm not posting this on YouTube. But, um, anyways, peace out, y'all. Y'all gonna see me in my next video. Hopefully my next one is in better spirits. Oh, no, we're in a house and we safe in love. I'll make you proud, make you proud.